Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome. Welcome to Jazz and Marty. I'm Marty, and today we have a project that I'm super excited about, all right? So here, let me show it to you real quick. All right, so today we're gonna be working on this. It's a poster display frame equipped with a light up now playing sign. All right, so I'm not gonna do a whole bunch of talking. Let's hop into this thing. But before we do that, let me show you something real quick. I always wanna do this, hold on. In a world ravaged by scraps, there's only one man who can save us. One man who can glue those scraps together and save the world. And that man's name is Marty. And like that, this will be the end. Kung kung. All right, so here's what you need. Scissors, glue gun, and glue sticks. Strength, Velcro, this came from the Dollar Tree. Wood glue, an eight by 24 inch picture frame. You're now showing poster. Now if all went well, there should be a link down in the description where you can print this out. Something to write with. Black spray paint. Parchment paper. Okay, next you're gonna need two pieces of two by two wood. They come eight feet long. You can get them from Home Depot, Lowe's, places like that. I'll insert a picture right here. Now, once you get your wood, you can go to the cutting section of your hardware store and have them cut out of one of your pieces, two 47 inch long pieces. And then out of the other, three 22 inch long pieces, all right? And when you finish, you should have something that looks like this. Here's the 22 inches, and here's the 47 inch long pieces. Okay, finally, you're gonna need your 24 by 36 poster frame and of course the poster that goes into it. All right, now let's hop into this thing. Now, if you're wondering where to get a custom movie poster made, you can head over to this website called yourfilmposter.com. Over there, they do the complete design for you. You just pick one of their templates and they also print a physical copy of the poster out and mail it to you, all right? Okay, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna take your two 47 inch pieces and your three 22 inch pieces and you wanna arrange them on your workstation like this. Okay, next you wanna bring both of your frames over and you wanna arrange them like this. See, that's our top 22 inch, our middle 22 inch and our bottom. Now we did it this way, that way we can move this bottom one around to find the you know right placing for it and align it correctly without putting any glue down. All right, now we can remove our posters and we wanna take our whatever we're using the right with and we wanna make two lines right where our posts meet. These will be our glue markings. All right, y'all, I had to interject really quickly. Um, just hot glue where you made the markings for your posts. Like, just hot glue your posts together. I had this long, convoluted plan with string and some type of contraption. Like, look at this. It's ridiculous. All right, just hot glue where you made the markings on your posts. And you're going to see a remnant of that in the next clip. Okay, next what you can do, you can cut three more pieces of string, put wood glue on the top of your three 22 inch pieces, and then glue your last 47 inch piece to the top and tie it together. Or you can do what I did and use the buttload of hot glue and hot glue this thing together. <laughs> now, if you're worried about the structural integrity of it, I just dropped this down a flight of stairs and it stayed together. All right, so now let's take our spray paint and hit it with the spray paint. All right, and when you finish, you should have something that looks like this. 
Okay, next you wanna grab your picture frame and you wanna trace the outline of your picture frame onto your cardboard and you wanna cut it out. And when you finish, you should have something that looks like this. Okay, next you wanna grab your picture frame and you wanna remove this top clear piece from it. This clear piece, you know the piece that acts as the glass. Okay, next you wanna bring your now showing printout over and you wanna lay the clear piece and kind of align it onto your poster. I put a little line at the bottom so you can center it correctly. Just making sure everything is aligned properly the way that you like it. Then once it's aligned, you wanna take your pen out, trace it, and cut it out. All right, and when you finish, you should have something that looks like this. And now, since we're in a cutting and tracing mood, if you want, you can take your parchment paper and you can take your plastic sheet or glass or whatever and cut about three or four more glass size shapes out of your parchment paper. The reason that we're doing this is the parchment paper acts as a diffuser, so we don't much so much see the LEDs, but just see the glow, all right? Okay, next we wanna bring our frame over and we wanna put our cardboard underneath, aligning it, making sure everything fits flush and correct. Okay, then we wanna take our pen and we wanna trace the inside of our display frame, all right? Because this will be where our lights go. Okay, next we can take our LED lights and arrange them in a spiral pattern on the inside of our uh, square that we just traced. And then make sure your power supply is on the outside of your square because this is going to go on the side of our frame. Okay, next we want to grab our glue gun and our glue sticks and we want to add hot glue all around the outside of your cardboard. And then you want to glue it to the designated area on the back of your frame. All right, next you wanna bring all your stuff over, your frame, your now show and sign, and your parchment paper, and you wanna kinda lay it on there so you can get a feel of what it looks like with the lights on, all right? Now, if it's too bright, add a couple pieces of parchment paper. That should help uh, lower the lighting down a little bit. Um, and if it's, if it's too dark, you might just wanna use one of just your now show and sign, all right? Now let's go and on to the next step. Okay, next you wanna add small dots of glue in the corners of your picture frame. Then you wanna add your plastic and or glass down, you know, to help keep it in place. Next, you wanna add your now showing sign by also adding dots of glue into the corner. And then after that, if you need parchment paper, you can add it like that also with the dots. All right, and once you finish gluing everything down, you should have something that looks like this. All right, now I haven't glued it yet, but your next step is to add glue to the back of your frame and then glue it to the bottom of your display frame. All right, we almost like 85% done. All right, y'all, we almost done. So the final step would be to A, you can hot glue your poster to your display frame or if you wanna change it periodically, you can take your Velcro, cut them into two inch strips and place them on your corners on the back of your frame and on the same spot on the display board. Now make sure you use hot glue for that so it won't move at all. All right, so now let's check out the final product. All right, really quick, let me show you where the Velcro strips are. I put them here here and up there you can't really see them because they're black but they're there all right now once i do that i'm going to lay some hot glue on top of it and then carefully lay my poster down and then i'm done all right now let's go hang this mama jam up all right and when you finish you should have something that looks like this i think it turned out really good all right now if you like this video please hit that like and that share button and head over to the Jazz and Marty Facebook page where we're always posting updates on DIY and craft videos. 
And like that, this will be the end.